Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with another quick tip. And my quick tip today is about using your gems with a patterned paper. Now, for this one, I have picked out um, a pattern from, let me double check it. This is a new pack that I've got. This is the Delightfully Eclectic DSP. And it's a big pack of paper, as you can see. I'm not going to go through all of it, but there are lots of patterns in here. And the, some of these patterns lend themselves to sort of a pattern repeat. What I've done for this card, I've started with a basic black card base and I've got a boho blue card front layer. I did cut my next card front layer to be just a little smaller, but what I wanted to do was try and keep my pattern even. So I've trimmed the pattern down so that I have got similar amounts showing. It's not on the same line because it's not possible to do that. This is a staggered pattern, but I've got the same amount showing here as here, roughly, and here as here. And then I've just chopped it close to even across the centre for these. So that is going to be my base. And I've also used uh, all that dies to create a sentiment label. I'm very quickly just going to stamp up my sentiment label. Um, because what we want to do is get these layers put together so that we don't add our gems which we're going to use we're not going to pop those anywhere where they're going to get covered up by the label so i'm doing this as a masculine card now i don't usually recommend gems for masculine cards so i wanted to show one way that i think does work fairly well so i'm just going to pop these layers together now i'm going to pop the sentiment flat onto the other label here so i just need to nudge it into place just looking for my take a pick tool to be able to do that so get that around about even and both of these dies are from the all that die set there we are so now I'm going to add these layers to my card and the idea is we're going to pick out our pattern, our repeating pattern with gems. Now I'm using the Adhesive Back Solid Gems this week. This is my pick of the week and they're a nice big pack of gems but even with such a nice big pack because this is quite a small pattern um, I'm going to need plenty of gems so I'm actually going to mix it up and use a couple of different sizes so we'll just get these layers put together and this is you know a tip for you that like I say you put the layers together so that we can put the label on and not waste putting gems behind where the label is going to be so I want some dimensionals now for this. I'll just get this stuck on. There we are. And then you'll get to see what I'm meaning. So I'm going to put this, let's see, there. I want it kind of staggered over the two layers and then it's around about even side to side there we go so i'm bringing in my gems and i'm using my take a pick tool and like i say i'm going to use a couple of different sizes um, i'm going to use the large and the medium i think i think the small might be a little bit too small what I'm going to do is just kind of test this out. But I'm going to want these sort of in. I'm going to put these in the middle of the white bits, not the black bits. So I think that the 
small might look just a little too small maybe not maybe maybe that large is going to be a bit too large i'm going to go with the small and the medium after all so what i'll do is start by placing one of my medium gems and then i'm going to skip one and pop it there and then we'll go back and pop the smalls in and it would be nice to have possibly all the same size but i would need another pack of gems for that so now i'm going we'll go down a layer and it doesn't really matter which way i go as long as i skip to be able to use the two sizes so i'm just going to do that and i'll pause the video and come back when it's all finished so that you can see so i'll pause it now and there we're back and i finished off putting all of these gems on there was no point in showing all of that but what you can see is that i've kept these in a line so the tiny ones are on alternate lines the medium ones are on alternate lines i've not put one there because it'll be hidden behind the label um then we've got medium we've got teeny teeny medium and but they alternate from medium to teeny as we go across so there we have uh, like i say my tip for if you want to actually use gems on a masculine card i think that this is one way that it really works because we're making them part of a pattern repeat um, and you can see that i've used quite a few of these gems we've used all of these medium ones here and these teeny ones here uh, so it does take quite a few and be aware of that and like i say that's why i didn't use all of the same size because it's a small pattern needing a lot of gems and that really um, would have um, needed more than one pack to be able to do it but please have a look at your patterned papers uh, and just to have a little look to see how you could use your gems with those patterns i could have equally put the gems in the centers of these uh, black crosses here uh, but i actually decided that it was going to make it a little bit more difficult on some of the areas and so i went with the the white spaces in between also it just does give a different kind of color balance to the pattern so again try that out and the way that i tend to try it out is if you just peel off if you twist carefully twist carefully so that they don't all fly off then you can position to see what sizes and where you want them to be so i hope that this tip helps you gives you another way of using your gems gems sequins rhinestones it works with all but like as i am using the solid gems this week please do subscribe to my channel below to see a quick tip like this every friday and a quick card every monday thank you for stopping by